Good morning everybody. So it's Thursday and usually on Thursdays we discuss some more mindfulness, meditation or um, energy related topics and today is no exception. Um, so about a week ago we discussed the lunar eclipse that occurred with the blood moon, the blood full moon. Well we have another eclipse coming up. It's a solar eclipse this time and it's referred to as a what they refer to as an annula eclipse or the ring of fire. It will occur on the 10th of June um, at here on the eastern border at around 12 past 6 in the evening and goes through to about 11 past 11 that night. Unfortunately we won't be we won't be able to witness it here in Australia. In fact most parts of the world won't be able to witness this one. Um, the countries that will be able to witness it are Northeast Canada, Greenland, Russia and the North Pole. So it's referred to as the ring of fire as it, as this occurs, these types of eclipses occur when the moon is furthest from the earth and it doesn't block the sun completely but the way it shadows the sun it gives us that ring of fire around around the moon. So just because we can't see the eclipse doesn't mean we don't feel the eclipse. The energy still it will come through to all of us. So just and just as we worked with the lunar eclipse a week ago, we so we can also now work with the solar eclipse. And the two the two eclipses, whether it's lun and the lunar and the solar, they have two different energy um, types that you can work with. So you, the solar eclipses have often been seen as an upset of the natural order of things. For so. When you, especially when we get the full solar eclipses, day becomes night, night becomes day. It's an upset of that natural order of how things operate. Historically, they've been seen as a symbol of, or as a portal, I should say, of massive growth and a time of rapid change. Whereas a lunar eclipse is associated with our emotional selves and our emotional lives, and our emotional bodies, the solar eclipse is a time to focus on the internal changes that, is, that, can, that will occur within us due to the energy coming in. So, we're, so the sun represents our outer and our external self. It's our personality. It's our self-expression. It's how we interact with the world. Whereas the moon is or is more about our emotional self, our emotional body, our emotion, how we interact emotionally. A so, so a solar eclipse can provoke a massive external change, especially when there are external factors that are blocking us from achieving what it is we have set out to achieve, so our dreams and our goals. So this, so the solar, so these... So the solar eclipse energy is a very positive energy if you think about it from that standpoint. It will give us what we need to achieve our goals. Now eclipses can they will force us to face the change that that we need. It will make us uncomfortable as all change should. Change is uncomfortable, but it is needed and it will ultimately and this and this energy of change will ultimately lead you to the path you need to succeed in your dreams and your goals. Solar eclipses tend to happen during a new moon and this one is no exception with the new moon occurring here in, on the eastern border of, of Australia on the 10th of June at 9.53 in the, at night. Now this is relevant as the new moon is the time when we set our goals and our intentions. So if you couple the new moon time of setting goals and the sun and the fact that the sun governs our personality and self-expression, the solar eclipse then provides the energy needed to provoke the change that we are seeking and it will push us forward and it will demand more of ourselves. It will, it will push us to use our strengths and resolve to achieve our dreams. So if you, so if you will, and if you, so what you will do and if you allow it to do, the solar eclipse will help you to embrace the new opportunities to motivate you to start that to start on that new path, whatever it is that you're it is you're trying to manifest, whether it's 
something you're trying to, an addiction you're trying to give up, a new job, and whatever it is that it is that is your particular goal that you're setting with that new moon, it will motivate you to start that new path and it will be help you to it will actually help you to embrace that change that you need to uh, to actually achieve those dreams so what a, so really this is the perfect time to allow the energies just to wash through you and to just suppose yeah to just wash through you and to just propel you forward with what it is that you're trying to achieve so that's just a small little video about this upcoming solar eclipse there are a few more eclipses that are due to occur through um, over the next few months but just um, just yeah just a little bit of information on how you can how you to work with these the energies that are coming in with this energy so it is a positive so even though eclipses have often been seen as these or been linked to these massive world events over over our over history a solar eclipse is all about that positive internal change so let's embrace it let's let that energy just wash through us to clear out what it needs to clear so that we can all move forward on the path that we are best meant to walk on so i hope you all have a great day and we'll chat soon bye